Welcome. In this video I'm going to talk about how to import CDs using macOS Catalina. So uh, in previous versions you would use iTunes to import music and they've gotten rid of iTunes and now they have a music app. So you can go into your hard drive and go into your applications and you can start typing in music and you'll see this music app here. We'll double click on that to open it. So the first thing you want to do is go to the music menu at the top and go to preferences. And now you want to go down here to when a CD is inserted, choose import CD and eject. And then I have automatically retrieve CD track names from the internet checked also. Next we'll click on the files tab and it says music media folder location. And you can click reset on this if you want. This is actually the default one. But if, I, if it has your iTunes one and you want to start from scratch, you can hit reset or you can change it to wherever you want. And then it says keep music media folder organized. So I have a checkbox there. And this says copy files to the music media folder when adding to the library. And I have that checked. And then I'll click import settings. So here you can import using a couple different uh, codecs. There's AAC and AIFF, lossless, MP3, and WAVE. So AIFF and WAVE are kind of similar as their lossless, but they're large files. And Apple Lossless is lossless, but it's encoded, so it's smaller. It's usually about half the size, I think. And then you have AAC and MP3. And typically, AAC is supposed to have better quality for the size, but MP3 might be more compatible. So in my example here, I'll stay on AAC. And then you have setting here, and it says iTunes Plus. And this would be 256 kilobits per second, if I'm thinking correctly. Um, you can take that down to high quality, which is 128. And spoken podcast would be for uh, like words and stuff. Or you can go to custom, and here you can change the bit rate, um, sample rate. Looks like that's fixed at 44.1. And you can have stereo or mono. But I'll leave this at iTunes Plus. And then if you check this, it says use error correction for reading audio CDs. And if you have trouble encoding your CDs, you can check this, but it will take longer. So I like to leave that off unless I absolutely have to turn it on. So I'll hit OK here. Next I'll click on Advanced. And you see this, it says Automatically Update Artwork. I'll check that. So that'll download the artwork for the album I'm importing. And then I'll hit OK. Once I've done that, I'll take a CD and I'll insert it into the drive. And it should start importing automatically. So I'm using the internal drive in my 2012 uh, MacBook Pro. But you can use USB uh, you know, optical drives. But I was trying it the other day with Catalina and it wasn't ejecting automatically. So I don't know if that's a bug in the music system or if I have an incompatible optical drive. If I recall correctly in the past, it was exporting properly. So I don't know what the issue is. So I'll probably speed up the video here while it's encoding. Okay, so that's finished importing, and like my USB external drive, this is not ejecting either, so I'm guessing this is a bug in the latest version of music, so hopefully they fix that for future versions. But ideally when that's fixed, you can, it will eject the CD, then you can put a different CD, and then you can easily just rip all of your CDs at the same time. I just hit the eject button on here, and that seems to work pretty good. So, I'm not sure what is causing that. There could be a permissions issue somewhere internally within the system. So now that I have it imported, I can go down here to songs. You can see all the songs I downloaded, I have albums. It doesn't have the album art here yet. If I click on these uh, three dots, I can go down here and say get album artwork. We'll see if that works. Okay, and it says I have to be signed into iTunes to do that, and I'm not. So that's probably why it didn't get the album art. So, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.